Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so you're probably wondering how we got here. And to find that out, we have to go all the way back to when I was on holidays about a month ago. How's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. So today I have quite a bit of traveling planned. I'm currently in Noosa, Noosa Heads right now, and I've got to make my way all the way over to this winery in Mickleham. I think that's how I pronounce the suburb. Mickleham. Michael. I'm going to call it Michaelham. It's my suburb. I'm doing that all today, so I've got to drive two hours down to Brisbane Airport for an event. A special event as well. Do I tell you now? Is that how I do storytelling? Do I tell them now and then you find out when I get there. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. Ah, you whisker went in my eye. <laughs> Please, please, just work. Yes, baby! Travi's alive! I'll see you later. Okay? Give me a kiss. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll see you later. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> Okay, well, I believe this is it. Manong Estate. I think that's my mate's car. I think Jamie's here. Hi, bro. Good to see you, you bro. You too, man. How are ya? Good, bro. When did you get back? Today. Oh, really? But I'm leaving back tomorrow. Just for this? Just for this. I came down. How are we? Oh, Garth, this is Mike. Mike. Hi, nice Mike. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Hey there, Mike. Meg. Just got to get Meg. Nice Lovely to meet you. to meet you. Oh, look at that. I'm feeling all legit. All right. Thank you. All right, so obviously we're here at the Bentley event <laughs> and they're unveiling their new 2021 Bentley Bentayga. Front, like it's got its differences, but they're still keeping that big grill yeah. and the quad alien headlights. I rate it though, I rate that look. But the back is where like the main changes are. And probably what I would be focusing on if I was gonna be taking photos of this car, which hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to take it out for some photos later down the track. But I like it. I, I think it looks really boss and silver. Like this dark silver looks really good. The interior of these cars always amaze me. Like the amount of stitching, just how perfectly everything sort of sits here. Like after getting in these cars and photographing them, I sit back in my Subaru and it just feels like, I don't know, it's slapped together from like a Meccano box. <laughs> it even smells like it's worth the money. Like, you know when you walk into a casino? That's what this car smells like. I wonder if it has launch control. What's PDC? It? I have no idea. Traction off. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Zero to 100, let's see what this thing can do. Oh. 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 <laughs> that pull! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, and that's the speed limit. <laughs> that's quick. It's quick. That is quick. All right, we just finished up for the day. That is an extremely nice car. Very quick, very comfortable. I'm actually going back up to Queensland right now, so I don't know what part of the vlog this is in, but hopefully in the next scene of this vlog, we're picking up the car again to take it out for some photos. Oh, oh fuck, way too much, almost went into my window. <laughs> Bentley actually asked me, they sent me two different cars that I could take out for some photos, right? They asked me if I wanted to shoot this dark gray or dark silver or whatever, Bentayga, with 
black wheels. Or I could shoot this convertible Continental GT with silver wheels. You know, we like silver wheels here. This is a silver wheels channel. And me personally, I really enjoy shooting sports cars or sportier looking cars. The SUV range, like I love the Bentayga, but I'm just more drawn to shooting the Continental. So we're gonna be picking that car up tomorrow. And the only problem is I'm having a look at the weather forecast here and it says Wednesday the 23rd of June, a little rain. That's not promising. That's not good to shoot a convertible car in the rain. That doesn't make any sense. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. See you later. Little do they know, I'm gonna sell all the parts in the black market. <laughs> <laughs> all of my friends say, girl, you better take oh, care. Cause that man is trouble, you best be aware. So, now that we have the car, it's actually my mum's birthday today. Uh, we're actually gonna take her out for lunch in this and then go do the photo shoot. Happy birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, take the <laughs> All right, just finished up with lunch. Now it's actually time to go do some work. We're gonna start off a photo shoot with the 105 here, and it's already got this big bulbous polarizer on it already. Now for some of these shots, I'm not shooting even though this is a 1.4 lens, I'm not shooting on a really open aperture. I'm actually shooting at an aperture of f4.5 for these photos. So I want to make sure, even though I'm really far away, if I'm shooting at an aperture of like f1.4 and I'm focusing on the front of the car, the back of the car is less likely to be in focus. So that's why I've bumped my aperture up a bit, f4.5. That's going to allow me to keep the whole car in focus while still having a nice blurry backdrop. <laughs> what a composition. Black building. <laughs> This building's a really nice looking building because you've had a glass on it. Yeah. And then, plus black car. It, uh, dude, this looks so good. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's fucking sick. <laughs> oh my god. Should have started with that. That is so cool. Dude, we were freaking out for two days trying to find locations yeah, for this car. Where are we going to shoot it? We're going to go to the church. Something I got an English. English, English shit. English architecture. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice wide shot. So using the 35mm. And that's it. Yeah. Let's take the photo. Alright, you see that tram that just passed there? That's basically the aim of this uh, shot that we're going to take here. Yeah, very Alex Penfold-esque sort of vibe with the cars parked on the street. But the shot I had in mind here is pretty cool. Basically, we want to get a long exposure of the trams passing. And then you can see that that building up there, it says Maya. And hopefully in Photoshop, I can try and change that to say Bentley. But I might need to consult my good friend Lamont. Because <laughs> I... You're a lot better than that, <laughs> than I am. <laughs> I reckon I'll be able to pull it off. Yeah, Just definitely the most flattering angle here, real quick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck our camera here on a timer. You don't wanna be holding down the shutter as you're taking your shot. You wanna chuck it on a timer, so your camera counts down from however many seconds. I guess your moving subject or your tram is about to come past your subject or the car. Um, you try and time it so it takes the shot as it's passing. Hope that makes sense. I just took this test shot. I shot it at f3.5, uh, ISO 64, I probably don't need 64, whatever. Apparently anything under ISO 100 is artificial, but whatever. And uh, uh, shutter speed of 3.2 seconds. So, I mean, I might change it to f4, ISO 100, three second exposure, um, and then just let the camera do the rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
right. Oh. Um, these are a lot heavier than they look. I'm just gonna put this oh, over here. That was a donation from Seventh Era. Thanks, Liam. I now am the proud owner of an iMac. Just wanna say a special thank you to Bentley for sponsoring today's, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but they did give me this coffee cup and it is now my favorite coffee cup. It's just, it's just a nice looking cup. Would you not agree? It just looks nice. I like the pattern, I like the color, and I like that it says Bentley on it. Um, anyway, that whole photo shoot went so smooth, honestly. Uh, one of the smoothest photo shoots that I've been on in a long time. I think because, let's have a look at my notebook here. There's about four, go on it. Yeah, there's about four, oh fuck, I just ripped it. I just ripped my notebook. Bentley, uh, Bentley notebook as well, by the way. Uh, they really hooked me the fuck up. And um, the photos uh, are some of the best car photos I think I've ever taken. I think I'm just very happy with them. They, there's a good mix of professional photos there uh, and also some creative photos there. And, and maybe you could even say like a mix between creative and professional photos like this photo here. I like that it's a 50-50 split and I like that it looks like two different photos. But if you have a look at the before, it is still the same image, which I think it's uh, it's a little bit abstract, but it still suits the brief of the car. But yeah, I feel like I stepped outside a little bit of my usual photography comfort zone. Usually I shoot a lot of night, urban, rainy, a lot of blues sort of photos, you know what I mean? But um, there's a set of photos here that is generally something I wouldn't shoot, but I really love taking these photos and editing them. Mainly because I just think they're shot in the daytime, to be honest. I was trying to think of a word to describe these images, but... It's mainly just because they're shot in the day, it doesn't feel like they're my photos. Because <laughs> I do everything at night time. A lot of people struggle with night photography, and I'm like, step out of my comfort zone out of night photography, and I walk out into the daytime, I'm like... What do I do? <laughs> I just want to say a special thanks to Bentley for allowing me to take out one of their cars a beautiful car to drive. It was actually a good thing we only had it for one night because otherwise I'd get complacent and get used to the amount of luxury that that car has. Heated seats, cooled seats, neck warmers, massage seats, heated steering wheel, active like suspension, like four different suspension modes. The crystal headlights, the way the fucking headlights look is so cool. Um, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm probably forgetting or don't even know about the car. So yeah. Just an insane amount of luxury. All these photos edited with my Lightroom presets. I use desaturated and night from the car section in my preset pack. However, they do come with 25 Lightroom presets for all types of different photos. And they come with walkthrough tutorials showing you how to use each preset and also extra Lightroom tutorials in there just to show you how to use maybe the basics of Lightroom and all that kind of stuff. Plus 25 of my raw images for you to play around and practice your editing with. And I've linked that all in my description down below or you can head over to streamline.store to grab yourself a pack. And also if you wanna check out the gear that I was using for all these photos, I'm gonna leave all the lenses and cameras and equipment that I was using for this video in my description there if you wanna go check that out too. Right, well that is the end of the video. I hope I taught you something new today. If I did, maybe you can leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one and I'll see you in the next one. I mean, I thought I was nicely dressed, okay? Have a look at this guy. Hello. Look at you, mate. You're ready to fucking go off to Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, just admiring it. <laughs>